what's my gender pronoun? I ain't got a dang gender pronoun. I'm a man. I'm a noun. And as you can imagine, where it went from there. Uh, it started out innocently enough. I was just trying to reveal the sex of the baby to you guys. And then you look up things. I can't even say words. Stuff gets flagged and pulled and you're in trouble on YouTube. And I don't want to be on trouble on YouTube. So I'm going to upload the video to Facebook. If you all want to see it, you're going to have to go over to Cereal Marshmallows on Facebook. And I'm going to upload it there. It, it's just freaking ridiculous. Free speech is not really something you have anymore. If your opinion differs from someone else's. Now all of a sudden, whoa, we won't want to hurt nobody's feelings or nothing. And that's just total BS. But that's where we are. So the sex reveal of the baby is going to be on Facebook. And you can go over to Cereal Marshmallows, check that out. Get some notifications here. This is going to be a walk around of a truck, which I did and put in the same video. And now I had to split it all apart and do all this. So hope it makes sense. There'll be a little bit of a vlog in here and stuff. And hey, it's just a walk around on this. But go check that video out on Facebook. Man, I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was funny. YouTube didn't think so. And I get my hands slapped a lot, it seems. Right in the cookie jar thing. I don't know. But hey, check us out. Here we go. Look at the weed eating. Just tried to get out here this morning and get some more of this done. I've chunked this piece out. Look at it all, man. I gotta reestablish my line. It's been overgrown for 10 years. But I got all this in between the cars, all bunched up. It's looking good. I can actually walk around in between the cars now. And look at the stacks of crap out here. And there goes the quail. I get quail all over this yard, a little female. They're pretty cute. And they sit out here and eat everything. I'm still gonna walk over and do a review of this truck. I've gotta send some pictures, but. You really can't do better in a video. Um, so I, I, I'm telling you, between the having the kid, trying to get this place, I got all this weeded out. I got all that. We got stacks of stuff everywhere. It's everywhere. And I'm here to tell you, I want this place flat and flush before the snow hits. I want to have a nice, beautiful looking snow filled front yard. I don't want like trees and branches and crap poking up all through it to where you can't walk through. I want to make snowmen, stuff like that. So, I think that's pretty much what I'm talking about. I just don't have the stuff to make videos on. The last video I did was a, not one of them, one of the last videos was a break into a car. Well, man, I ain't gonna lock myself out of another car to make some content. And the content I got right now is me weeding. Or me and on the computer trying to take control of the paperwork and get all my bills paid and stuff. Well, that ain't content. That ain't what y'all wanna see. So I don't have what it takes here and I'm hoping you guys will get some notifications. Subscribing doesn't do it on YouTube anymore. Right down underneath this video, you'll see a notification bell. Click that, and that'll get you some notifications. And not only that, in the description, I'll put the baby registry. Give me stuff, give me a I had somebody say to one, oh, you're worth millions. Does the game stop at some point? I still want your five bucks. I still want you to buy me a baby rattle. You watch my content. I'm a cool guy, you're a cool guy. Yeah, I've made some money. I got some property. I got some stuff, but I want your money too. What's so weird about that? Just a baby rattle for fuck's sake. So let's do this. Um, and hey, look, if you're offended by me putting my baby registry video up, I don't give a damn. It's my channel, I do whatever the hell I want. You wanna unsubscribe? <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Truck. Okay, year, don't know, mid 70s. Have to look it up. This truck is pretty clean. On the fenders, you got the obvious rot, rot. But I got brand new fenders for it in the back. Well, not brand new. I got a set of good fenders for it in the back. You got rot in that cab corner. And a little bit right there. And that's starting to get a little bit. This here, where it gets it just starting to, right on the, looks like somebody put caulking in there. But not all rusty on this part in here. Look at this. Clean, clean, clean. It's got patina on it, but it ain't rusty by any means. Not even there. Got a big dent. A little bit of rust on the back here on the tailgate. Right on the back. Got a hole in it there. Bedsides are good, man. This. It's got some denty chip scrapes. A denty chip scrape. These back fenders are nice. This happens to all of them, and I think it's right about there. Get that hole in it. And cab corners, that's cab corners. 
That door's got a chunk eight out of the top. But as you can see, it didn't even eat through the bottom. A little piece there. God, this is a pretty nice fender on this one, but it's starting to get that line. Okay, the wheels. It is a four by, by the way. Here, look at this. That, of course, where they all do it. It's super clean. Underneath it. Let me give you this. It's got a problem with the differential. So, going places is not what you do very much. It starts up, I'll bet you, you know, I ain't started this in a long time. It's got a big old winch on it. You want the winch with this deal, it's a couple hundred bucks extra. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to take it off and sell it to somebody. It's a huge, amazing winch. Um, but I'm selling it, man. It's a good truck. I'm not gonna do much to it. I'm just gonna sell it as is. Let me show you over here underneath. Now, I haven't started this. It's set here for, oh, I'd say it's set here for three months. Let me show you four boards and such. They're pretty clean, but there is a rust hole right there. And you can see a little bit of air right there. Okay, inside, it's pretty clean. No rust coming through there. Tiny piece right there. Underneath here, it's pretty clean actually. The seat's pretty good. They put one of the covers on it. I'm gonna see if it'll start. It's a 396, man. A 396. Oh wow. Get it. I did not think it was gonna start, buddy. No nope, steering. Must be a later 70s. And it's an automatic overdrive. So you do have the 700 R4 in it. Oh, trans oil tip. Somebody added that. It's cold this morning, man. Four by four. RPM gauge is hooked up. Wire loom. Got the gun rack. You gotta have a gun rack, son. I could be out of gas. TCC. I don't know what TCC on and off means. But I know this, when you buy a truck in Montana, it comes with bullets in the door. That's all there is to say about it. Bullets, bullets, bullets and things to fix wounds with. Antiseptic wipe. Oh, it's lens cleaning wipe. Okay. Okay, let's see how this looks. Ah. Nice. All kinds of earplugs for shooting. This would make a nice hunting rig. It really would. It's clean inside. It's got a dual tank, man. Does it really? Trailer brakes. Don't know if that's hooked up. I do know that the differential has a problem, so you ain't going nowhere. You're from California. Click your heels together and repeat after me. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. See, that's that. There's one tank. I only see one tank. Is it really one of those years where they threw it? It's a custom deluxe tin. It can't be one of those years where they put them on the opposite sides, can it? It is. Frick, Chevy, what the hell's wrong with Chevy? Who does that? A fuel tank on either side of the truck. It's just, that's one of the dumbest engineering things. We used to have a big old dually. And I'll tell you what, my dad hated that thing because of having to fill up gas like that. The next truck was a Ford. But here you go. Big old 396. Now I'm going to sell this a couple ways because the God honest truth is, I'd like to have that 396, but... It needs to go with this truck. However, that MSD6AL does not need to go with this truck. It needs to go on my car. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking it might be the perfect, um, yeah, whatever the hell that thing is, distributor back there to go on my other car too. Holly double pumper underneath there, I think. Nice truck. And the hood closes nice. 
I'm thinking he replaced it. It's not got that, you know, what it's supposed to have, that big bend there. So that is the truck. That is the walk around. That's what I got for sale. If you're interested, call me because I ain't going to have this for long. It's a nice truck. And you know, while I'm showing you this, I'm going to walk down here. There's all kinds of stuff. I mean, that little Tempest Le Mans convertible, super rare. It's a 326 car and a five lug. Most of these had four lugs and they were just a Tempest. This is a Tempest Le Mans. It's the pre-GTO GTO. The Buick Sport Wagon. Everybody think it's the Vista Cruiser when they see it. Same damn thing. But Lexus is sold. And I want to give some more deals. I threw out a deal in the last one. I'll knock 50 bucks off. I'll take 1750 for this short bed. People don't understand why I have the rules I have. But I'm going to have a big sign out here because I tell people, don't open my cars. I went out to get this. It's just a brakes loose faster. Fabulous blaster. PB penetrating catalyst. Because these hinges on these trucks are delicate at this age. They just kind of get bound up. And then you bend your hood. And this one has a slight crack in it. But I'm not willing to really just mess it up. So I'm going to douse the hell. Oh, come on. It's frozen. It is frozen. How do you freeze this oil? Leave it here in Montana. I'll just leave that. Sorry about that. Just spray everything down. Okay, and the GMC, or Chevy Blazer, and the Chevy Blazer. We got Chevy Blazers all over. This one, look on my channel, and you'll see a video of that Chevy Blazer. And I will take $24.50. This one you'll see on there, I'll take $17.50. Telling you, cheap deals. Trans Am's everywhere. Everywhere. And so this video has just been a blast of bunches of stuff. And what's going on and there's going to be a lot more going on and I don't know what kind of videos I'm going to put up there might be a video it's just not going to be about fixing cars that much and the more I get on of that I'll enjoy it but I don't have it's not what I'm doing at this point I'm just kind of doing some other stuff and trying to get my place in order and trying to get it like I need it to work here and soon look at that it's beautiful but look how it looked, it had all that there. So I mean, I'm just, I clipped this down a bit when my mom and dad were here. And I just, I can't find the time in a day to do this. Besides getting up at six, getting out of here and doing it since it's wet before the day starts. It's Sunday, man. And I'm gonna make this video, throw it up right now. And hopefully you enjoy um, hiring, um, moving, shaking, the whole thing. Thanks for watching, lots of ings there. Um, I'm going to go inside and upload this and hopefully get another car sold. Lexus sold. Something else sold the other day. I forgot. But cool. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. OneOwnerCarGuy.com Sorry if it's not the content you're looking for all the time. But I'm just putting up the content. Like, right, look at this. All the plastic came off. And for the winter, I'm going to have to replastic these windows because I'll tell you what. It gets cold. And that wind just kind of cuts right through your windows. I don't like that so that's the kind of stuff I'm doing and I don't know exactly how to relay that into videos and make it interesting if that makes any sense I mean but look at these mountains look at the view across here you just can't beat that especially when you come down and you got the view of this right here oh man I buy this just to keep this right here to where I have a big old catalog just to come out here and look at it every once in a while thanks for watching have a great day or night Whatever it is, wherever you are, oneownercarguy.com. Subscribe, give me money in the baby registry if you want. And yeah, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. What's my, what's my gender pronoun? Boy, I ain't no pronoun. I'm a man. I'm a noun. I'm a straight up noun. It's just the way it is. Oh, you could just hear him hit the flames. And that's what we got. And I'm trying to get this without shaking. I got a huge lens on here. And there goes some birds flying south. Beautiful hot air balloon. Beautiful day right in the right in the freaking backyard. And there's Lily. Hi, I saw a hot air balloon. 
Bingo, bingo. That's what we saw. So I'm hoping this lens is clear enough because it's got a couple smudges, but it's what I could grab to get this close shot. Kind of cool. We, have a big we do got a big backyard. It's big enough to have hot air balloons fly over, damn it. <laughs>